Today, Paul and I are cooking fajitas. Oh boy. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ken and Paul again from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another cook and review. How are you doing, Paul? I'm doing well. Awesome. What is on for tonight? We're doing fajitas. Nice. So the fajitas, we're gonna do steak, chicken, and shrimp. And what is the, the gist of today? Is to do flour tortillas. Right. Because we talked about the tortilla before when we did the Big As Your Head burrito, so we figured to make this sort of the focus of this one. Right. That'd be the main... People really were interested in making their own the, fajita yeah, shells. Yeah, it's just so much nicer yeah. when you... So, when so Paul prepared a bunch of stuff already. So again, the, today's focus isn't on preparing all this food. It's on preparing the tortillas, the tortilla, the tortillas and uh, barbecuing up the, the meats. Right. Okay, what's okay. first? We're we'll start with, uh, we've got four cups of flour. And I'm gonna do it in a bowl. Like, I mean, I could have done it in a stand mixer, but it's just to show you don't need I mean, things that obviously stand makes, mixer makes it easy, but you don't need a stand mixer. You can just mix by hand. Right. So we've got four cups of flour. We're going to put in um, two tablespoons of uh, vegetable shortening. Very cool. We're going to put in about a, a teaspoon. And this is a, around a tablespoon, but so teaspoon is going to be like about half of that. So I'm going to dump that in. I've got um, one and a half cups of water. And then two teaspoons of baking powder. I better use a fresh spoon because that will stick. Two. And then the water, then we mix. So I'm just gonna crumble the, 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 the uh, shortening in just to break it up a bit first with my fingers. Don't worry, I just washed my hands so you didn't nice. see that in the video. So you see as you crumble it, it'll, it'll it's a shortening, it'll, you want to mix it in nice. You just just rub it in with your fingers there. That's a, a good technique. Yeah, it just it. I mean, if you put it all in once, it'll 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 you'll get the the water mixed with the flour and become all. It's oh, just okay. it's just nicer to crumble. There's actually a tool you can get for the pastry. The uh, oh, it's like a mesh thing like this, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah. So once it's almost like a potato masher. Yes. But, yes. Okay, yeah. You know what? You know the tool. Yeah. So once I've got it pretty much separated, then I start adding the water in. That's warm water, you said, or does it yes. matter? And like just like bathtub warm, or just well, so how I know. warm do you have your bath? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, just lukewarm. You can do cold. Warm seems to speed it up a bit. That's going to be messy on the fingers. I oh, think. it'll start coming off. And if you've made them, if you've made it a bit too wet, add a touch more flour. And if it's too dry, like it's crumbling apart, then just a touch more water. You see as well. Oh, look at that! It went on you. I'm dirty now. Dirty. Dirty bird. Dirty. You're so bad. And then once we have this all mixed nice. We're just gonna wrap it in uh, saran wrap. And I'll throw it in the. Uh, just leave it out. You'll see it'll nice consistency there. Just open it up so I get the power in. That's funny how. It's... And it'll start. It'll start doing the same. You notice in the bowl how it's it's peeling away the. Yeah. The flour in the side, obviously, with a stand mixer, it's a lot faster. So I'm just kind of opening it up and just rolling it over on itself. And you can feel like in the, so you're coating the outside. Right. Is it slowly pulling off your finger? Yep. Oh, I lost my wedding band in there. <laughs> That'll be the surprise tortilla. That's right. Be like, hey, look what I got. It's made of gold. See? Kind of like pizza dough, or yeah, but pizza dough's yeast, and you'll see once it. No, I meant like the feeling of it. It feels like pizza dough. Okay. Because I, I bet a lot of more, a lot more people have made pizzas, pizza then dough. So that's what I'm trying, I'm trying to compare. Yeah, it's very similar to something. Usually, a lot of stuff that you're mixing, you end up with a similar um, amount of liquid to dry ingredients. So there was four cups of flour cup and a half of uh, water to get your dough ball. 
So if that was bread or pizza dough, I'd put a light coating of, I think, well, we did that. Yeah, we did. Light, yeah. Of, of olive oil over top, and then you'd put a cloth over so it doesn't dry and let it rise. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wash my hands. I'm just going to wrap this in saran wrap. We're going to let it sit. Okay, okay. what's next? We're going to do some uh, pico de gallo. Hope I'm saying that right, but I can't know I say Sounds it. right. So I've got, uh, it's just a very simple um, condiment. Rather than doing, we could have done a salsa, but uh, I think we we'll sort of want to focus on the fajitas and do the tortillas, and that'll take time. Um, so this is something really fast. So if you have if you have fresh tomatoes or you have tomatoes just sitting in your fridge there, so we're gonna use we're just gonna cube it. So just come across like that, and then turn. We're gonna dice some tomatoes. So we're gonna dice some real tomatoes, and then uh, some onion. I've got red onion. You can use white onion, uh, jalapeno, cilantro. So if you notice, I've got a little bit of saran wrap here. What I did with the um, I think it was when we did the Big As Your Head burrito, I had quite a bit of cilantro. So rather than letting it go to, to waste, I did chop it up and then, well, it was obviously washed, then chopped, and then I wrap it tight in saran wrap. And I've already used some of this. So in here, there's another one. Make like a little log out of it so that when it comes out, if you need a bit of cilantro, fresh cilantro, break a piece off, little cube, and then put it in. Nice. If you want it, thawed, just drop it in the microwave like for seconds and then it'll just come apart in your dish, whatever you're using. So it's a good way that you don't waste fresh herbs nice. and you won't get freezer burn. It'll last quite a while. And you wrap it really tight, yeah, eh? Yeah, really tight to, so you're pressing it almost like a cigar. Yeah. Now, you know, you can do that with any of your herbs. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I got some red onion. I'm going to take a bit of this out. I'm just going to dice this one fine. So all this is going to be is a fresh diced tomato, okay? Fresh cilantro, fresh diced onion, a little bit of garlic, a touch of salt, and then we're going to dice in some, um, I don't have fresh jalapeno, so we're going to use a pickled uh, jalapeno that we have here. So far I've just got the diced tomato, diced red onion, take a little bit of jalapenos here, the pickled, because we don't have any fresh. Fresh is always nice, but this'll do. This'll do the trick. Same with our lime. I've got one measly little lime, which we're gonna cut up for our beer break. So nice. Use, I've got some lime juice in the fridge. So what kind of beer you got for us today, Paul? Corona. Nice. So the only beer to drink when you're eating Mexican, really. So let's see how easy that just breaks apart. Wait, wait, no, oh, get sorry. in there. So I'll just... So now you have, you have fresh cilantro. That's awesome. So great way to use herbs. We'll do a show on it. I mean, it's simple. You dice it up really fine. I'd, I'd rinse it first so there's still a bit of moisture. And I laid it in the back and then rolling it really super tight. Like a cigar. Like a cigar. Just get it all so, and then make sure there's no air in there. So it's, it's just super tight. And just throw it in the freezer. Great little thing. Just take little pieces off as you That's need. That's great. It. Good idea. So you don't waste. Yeah. Like. What is that? What is that, Paul? A little bit of lime juice. Nice. And then just a bit of salt. And there's uh, Matthew Magoo. Oh. <laughs> salt. And that's it. We're just going to mix that. We're going to set it in the bowl. We're going to uh, fire up the barbecue next. That's and then we'll come in. This is almost ready to roll out. And the last thing we'll do is we'll roll them out. Get this stuff cooked and we'll just put it all together and show like a nice presentation. Isn't there a Canadian law about beer in between? Beer and no beer and barbecue. Like you can't start a barbecue. Oh we have to, yes. We're yeah. gonna have to um, open a beer first. To barbecue. To barbecue. That's so that's all that. pico de gallo is. That's it. Very simple. Mmm. a little bit frozen we'll let it sit. Smells really good. Nice, I'll give it a nice little mix after once wow. it uh, comes apart. Scratch, sniff, mmm. Okay, let's do some beer. Okay, Paul, what is in the fridge today, sir? Let's see. Oh, everything. You know what I'm gonna do? We I'm have gonna, the Modelo's as well. We have the Modelo as well, which we had last week. Oh, yeah. But I, you know what, I wanna do something. Do you wanna do a cider? Uh, not me, I wanna, nope. I wanna do the, the Corona with my Mexican. I've been itching for this, and I don't think you'd like it. No, I wouldn't. So why don't we do this? <laughs> <laughs> And I still had one of these left over. Oh, you can have that. Because I like that. We did that in the earlier one. Yeah, we did. 
So and that was like an, was it an IPA ish beer? Yes. It was, yeah, it was it strong. Is. So, so I'll stick with my lighter Corona. Just because I know you'll you like this. That. Just, look at that! How nice that looks. And and again, the main reason that they started doing that was because. Keep the flies out of your beer on the beach. <laughs> That's right. But I can't yeah, realize that hey, a piece the of lime fruit. tastes good. Well, you think that the lime would actually attract flies. So English pale ale. It's called a pompous ass. Let's see the word this ass. This is uh, Great Lakes Brewery. I can't see the word ass. There you there go. It is. We want to make sure you knew we weren't lying. So. Oh. I'm going to have to like stick my lime down into it there we go cheers sir cheers oh it's better to squeeze it in then one of the things here i'm, I'm drill look at me paul taught me once before i could see if i can do this with one hand you're supposed to do this and then tip it upside down and then shake it <laughs> and let the lime go all the way up to the top of the bottle or the bottom and that way now lime that goes back up is through it and now you have to <laughs> It doesn't spray anywhere. Now the lime is like throughout the bottle of beer. See, I want to pour this in a glass now because... See, you wouldn't like this. This is... Mm. Uh, this one's very hoppy. I don't know you if you want to... keep your hoppy beer. But that's just my taste. Nice. That's it's, like it's, soup. It's not... <laughs> it's not super hoppy like ones we've had... Uh, it's soup. Or hoppy. <laughs> mm. But it is delicious. So let's uh, fire up the barbecue. Let's do it. And uh, get some stuff cooking. Oh. And then we'll roll out those bad boys when we come back in. Nice. And we'll just throw everything together. Hey, look at the chicken. So is she ready, Paul? Yes. What we'll do is we'll uh, we'll roll out a tortilla. I've got a uh, pan there heating up. So we're going to take... All about the size That's of a ping pong ball. Yeah, I guess a ping pong ball size. And for those of you who play pong, beer pong, you know. Yes. So I'll put some flour down because if you don't, it will stick. No doubt. So what you do is just roll a nice ball. I always like to set it down in the flour first just to get it in there. And then start. Wow, it's a lot of flour. We're gonna be you This is a flour tortilla. It is a flour tortilla. <laughs> But you'll see as, as we're rolling it, it'll push the flour aside and then we can just move it in with our hands. When I was in uh, California, there was a lady, that's all she did was made the tortillas and she had a machine. Yes, whoosh, so the whoosh. machine, yeah, there's, um, the machines are fantastic because it's, it's, you just drop the, yeah. you're, you're dividing up dough balls and then you, just, you basically just drop it in. Yeah. And you have a perfectly form tortilla in a matter of seconds. So you, want to, you want to get it nice and thin. I'll just take it a little bit thinner than that. What would you compare the thinness of that to? Uh, that's a good question. That's pretty that's much pretty... like the thinnest thing you'd want to roll out. Yeah, it's... it's like you're... out of pizza doughs and all the other things that you would make this kind of way. Just peel it up from the other thing so we can see how thin that is. Yeah, it's pretty thin. It's pretty thin. So we're gonna just drop it in the pan. So I think in one of the shows you asked about on a on a griddle or a skillet, if we added anything, and it's no. This again is just straight. Yeah, because if you if you have oil or anything in there, it's gonna absorb. It'll be turn that crispy. Wow. Oh, okay. So you just want straight heat, and you'll see. Obviously, it's, the pan's not quite as hot as I'd like. If it's too hot, you're gonna see it is gonna start burning it quickly. Um, so let's you'll see. see how so you're, you're going to see bubbling. See how it's doing that now. And then you know you see the oh, yeah, sort of like the brown, like the nice tan brown color spots on it. You see how it's it's starting to consistently in there. It's kind of like bliss, blistering almost. Yeah. You could call it. And if you're not quite sure how it's coming, just take your tongs. You can sort of lift it. See how it's yeah, it's not start brown yet. Hasn't started browning yet. But, it's, but she's hot. Just golden brown. You want it? Yep. And what I'll do is that in between tortillas, because I've got flour on there, you'll notice that the flour will start to burn in the pan as you got more uh, tortillas going. And rather than washing the pan and getting it wet, whatever, I just take it over a sink, dry, and just scrape the 
the burnt flour out as you're going. So now you can see it's bubbling. Well, let's just take a look here, just to show. Uh -huh. See there, it could have been a bit. We'll flip it back over again. We can see how it's starting to brown there. So you want a nice consistency, a nice consistency across. Will this start to uh, balloon up, inflate? It will a little bit. You can see in here, like as the blisters inflate a bit, so it is it right. is lifting. But they'll they will settle back down. It will settle back down. Yeah. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it. We have like a restaurant style tortilla holder. Uh, if you do not have one, these are great. You just throw it in, and away you go. Just throw on a plate. Have a uh, towel clean in mm -hmm. there clean and put time. it in fold because you want you want the heat and the moisture to kind of keep it soft and pliable when i make pancakes i put uh the first pancake on the plate after i've cooked it and then i put paper towel over it and a, then a towel and that way i don't have to worry about the, the towel getting wrecked or if it's dirty not that mm -hmm. i'd use a dirty towel so there now we're getting nice and you can see the, the start, oh you can start to smell the toastiness of it yes the toast aroma. Yummy. So what do we have in here, just to give people a heads up? I've got uh, just on red onion, white onion, green pepper, and red pepper. Nice. And how many of each thing do you think you chopped up? Like one pepper, was, I think, two yeah, pepper? I think there was, uh, I had a green, maybe there might have been two green peppers. Two green one, peppers, Yeah, one white pepper. onion, one red onion, depending on how many people you have, too. Of course. Mostly we're feeding But the just kids to give people too. an idea how many you use to do that. There, see, now that's... Ooh. Toasty. I'm gonna turn that off because we're gonna be doing barbecuing lunch. now. Yeah, but we'll just throw that in there. And we'll close it. And okay. As you, and then, as I said, see where it's, it's burning like that. I'll just let's, let's see towel. it. So just to give you guys a yeah. So you'll see it'll, it'll just wipe right out of the pan. Just don't burn your, yourself. Yeah, just watch your fingers. Just do a bit of rub there. That way you're not you're not because if I add water, I'm gonna be chilling the pan right away. I want to keep the pan hot. All right, it's Ken's turn. Paul already started, and then I just took it from him. Turn the camera on. We're rolling. You already put the flour down. Like you said, you know, if it starts to go in a different direction, or it starts to get too oblong. What do you think? Paul just wanted a drinking break. I was rolling out tortillas and I was so thirsty. Check it out. So people. we figured we'll let Ken try one. Nice. Oh, that you can almost... that is a sexy tortilla. Hey, Andre. Okay, Paul, what are we doing, sir? I'm trying to get through the door with my hands full. <laughs> well, you should have let me go first, kid. Silly. So I think that's probably hot by now. That, oh, it's it's off the chart, so we're gonna have to have this open because we were inside. Look at the tree branch that came down. Oh boy, oh. that's our an ice storm we had. Yeah. So All right, back to so fajitas. Let's uh, well, forget about the tree and. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, that's hot. I'm gonna place down on this side of you because of the sun. Okay, Paul, what did you do to the chicken? I just put a little seasoning salt on it. Just seasoning salt. That's it. Both sides? One side. Uh, I just did one, but I'll just do this to slop it up. Oh, okay. There. Why waste? No wasting so, here. And what did you put these on are, here? These are six ounce steaks, so they're thin. This just has salt and pepper on it. So I'm gonna close this down, because obviously look at the thickness. This is gonna take a lot longer to cook. Oh, okay. And these, I, this I want cooked because chicken you cook but this i'm gonna have medium rare because we're gonna slice it up on top of the uh the fajita mix nice oh, presentation it's gonna be so yummy andale 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 oh yeah yeah mm. it's steak time it's some steakies paul rolled oh. that chicken over oh oh my gosh as soon as you put it on the smell yeah, of steak I just want to smell like steak all day long. That's why I do this. We can make a fragrance. I just do it so I can smell nice. It's called make man steak. Front. And plus it's nice and warm here too. Oh. The heat coming off that's unbelievable. Oh. It's probably dropped down to like three degrees right now. Then my wife will come home and she'll be like, you smell like steak. <laughs> somebody say mistake? That must be some kind of mistake. <laughs> Did somebody say steak? Steak. Ooh. Ah, oh. put some artistic slices. Hashtags. Little hashtag. Oh, oh, oh. Hashtag steak it. Little stickies there. Not good. Little shake. There we go. When you shook it, was that giving you some indication? Just to sort of just uh, pull it off the, because I could feel it was, just rather than just yanking it and just tearing it, give it a bit of shake just to have a little, ease it off the, uh, the grill. 
Nice. And did that also give you an indication as to uh, how well it was cooked or not cooked? Yeah. You can see the, the firmness, yeah. Yeah. It's getting there. I just had the chicken on first, so I, I'm trying to time it so it all comes off exact same time. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Let's lift it up. Oh, smell that. We're ready for a flip. Oh. Nice, nice hashtags on that bad boy. Sweet. Mmm. Soak it all in. This is where you really. This is where. Oh, no. This is the like the perfect scratch yeah. sniff right oh, there. Oh, oh. Mm. Let's do our last turn here. Do a little. Oh boy, like that smells good, don't it? My camera smells like steak now. Steak. Just a few more seconds, and then we'll take it off. We'll get the rest going. We're gonna throw it all together. We're going to eat like kings once again and enjoy. <laughs> Aww, friends. Friends. Are they ready, bud? They are. I can smell it ready. Oh, look at that. Ooh, I like it. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. And oh the, boy. And the chicone. Just let that. Burn and let you make your neighbors all like freak mm. out right now. You just wave it around. Let's see which way the, the steam is going. Oh, mm. oh you want that aroma <laughs> in the air. Oh, then when you walk this way, it's right in my face. That's right. Mm. Look at the kids are gonna freak out when they smell that. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, so good. Go ahead. Oh, nope. you follow? Go ahead. On the follow cam. The follow Whoa! Oh, That's we so almost died. We're slippery. Following you like Star Wars. Yeah. So we're gonna let that rest for two seconds. One, two. We're just gonna. I'd already sauteed this up it so it's fast, but we just want to bring this up in temperature. Uh, shrimp, a bit of olive oil, and garlic. So we have uh, fresh garlic and oil, um, just in a restaurant portion cup. This is a two ounce portion cup, but you can get them in smaller, like one ounce, two ounce, larger. Um, also good for freezing as well, if you're not gonna use okay. it anyway. And so it, how, many, sort of, how many garlic cloves did you, like a couple whole garlic this buds? Was, uh, yeah, this was a few. I, I'm not in here, but I, I, I had a batch done up and okay. I just broke it into portions. So and you put like a little bit of olive, did it in the bullet kind of thing? Uh, that one I used a hand because I did it at the restaurant. Oh, okay. it was faster, so I used the hand mixer and, and a large amount of garlic. Ah. But, same thing. You can do it at home. I mean, you can do it in a magic bullet. Mmm, um, oh, that smells so good. Ken, I know you like shrimp. I love shrimp. And all that, yeah, just olive oil and, gar and fresh garlic. We're just going to heat it up. You can hear that pan sizzling. Mm -mm -mm. So while we have the shrimp heating, we're going to cut up the chicken and steak. So what I'm going to do is usually you see the, uh, the little cast iron skillets in the restaurant. Right. Uh, where we feeding the kids, there's Ken and I, different people like different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it in strips across so that you can actually pick if you don't want the onion and peppers, because I love that. Yeah. But uh, different, uh, different things. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it into strips. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it, ooh, it's a little hot, on one side like this. Oh, nice. I'm gonna do, what are you talking about? We're gonna do the same with the steak. But all my kids like shrimp, so I'll show you what we're gonna do. See a nice beautiful meat and rare. Lay one on this side. Okay, on this one, again, show people that have uh, first time tuning in how you're cutting this meat. So I'm just, I'm just, I could use my tongs, and I'm just coming across at one end. But you're keeping the tip of the blade. Yeah, so the, the, whoops, the blade is not, um, is not lifting off the cutting board. So I'm coming in a slow mo. I'm coming down. I'm, I'm serrating like this, nice. and I'm using the tongs to kind of keep it in place there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line the steak up on one side. I'll just take a little bit of that fat off the side there. Oh like boy! We'll save one. Oh boy! Wait! Oh, there's a little piece that. Oh! Oh my God! Oh! Mmm! <laughs> don't want to overcook the shrimp, so I'm just going to do this. Presentation. That way you, people can pick if you want chicken or you want steak, you want both, or all three. Then you can sort of pick and choose. So 
and light like that. Oh, that smells amazing. And this garlic. Let's pour it on, yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude. Mm. And. And that's all she wrote. Yeah, we'll just make it look, uh, put a couple of lime wedges thrown on there. Just make it look funky. Look at that. Oh boy. Picture I time. It's over. So, ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. Nice. All right, guys, we are all set up. Paul, just go quickly with all the different things that you've set out for us to eat. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say beer. Beer, that's a good one. So I just made a little bit of rice. It's uh, a chili uh, seasoned rice. Okay. Uh, we got some shredded lettuce, our pico de gallo. We've got some pickled jalapeno. Mm. We have a smoky sweet garlic, I'm oh, sorry, garlic. Uh, barbecue sauce, black beans, some shredded cheddar, a bit of the uh, chipotle um, peppers. Oh, nice. Yes. And then some sour cream. And of course our fajitas and a whole big batch of homemade Flour tortillas. Homemade flour tortillas. We'd love for you guys to try this recipe. And look at the steam. And let us yeah, that. It's still I'll all take warm. It on top there. Oh my gosh. Oh. Let's do it. Even without anything on there yet. It's. Uh, I know. I, I was saying it would be nice to put like peanut butter and jam on that and eat that as a snack for lunch. I'll have fajitas. <laughs> but we'll have fajitas instead. Sure. You start. I was gonna watch you go. Oh, okay. See, see what you put on there. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna put like a couple jalapenos. I'm gonna make mine mm. stupid hot. Are you gonna go stupid hot? I'm gonna go stupid hot. <laughs> nice. I think I will, uh... yeah, let's make her hot. Really, really hot. Chipotle. I'm gonna cut it in half and then spread it out. Oh, my black bean. Oh, look at that. Ooh. A little bit of cheddar, mind the reach. I'm gonna kind of, kind of copy Paul. Mm. The only thing with fajitas is that you can accidentally put way too much on, can't you? And the thing that's nice about this, when you we've got a, a group of people, you know, you're putting what you like in your fajita. Right. Because so if you don't like, if you don't like it hot, you don't put any jalapeno or any of this uh, chipotle. Did you put a whole one of these in there? I did. Wow. And then I cut it in half. I'm just gonna and drop spread it, it out for the put, whole. Like, Oh, that's, oh, that might be a bit much. I might turn red. A little bit of smoked barbecue sauce, too. Oh, can you make it? Oh, I dropped one piece of cheese. Dude. You know what? We really hope you guys aren't hungry right now, because that would be really bad for you to sit there and watch this when you don't have any food nearby. Big right. mistake. I guess we're going to, oh, you already did that. I did. Oh, I my. put mine on the bottom. I'm going to so go like shrimp. Right in. Shrimp mm. and shrimp. You, did Smell you do that. all steak? I did. I did uh, steak. Did I put chicken? I didn't put chicken. I don't steal like these. Like I'm gonna put two pieces of steak, and oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go. It's be hard to fold. Yeah. Oops. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Hey, Chihuahua. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on just because Paul did. I'm gonna copy him. Let's see whose looks nicer. I think mine does because it's because mine's oh, like that. Oh, you got sauce on <laughs> your plate. I now. didn't. Did I? Check that out, people. Put oh. yours back up here. Wow. Nice. I did get it too. I can just breathe that in. Okay. Now. So this is a straight fold, right? Yeah, but if you fold the bottom, just do one side like this, and just get try and get there's a lot in there. I fold it that way when you hold it up. Oh, you're not okay. gonna have it all, all your toppings drop out. So I did a fold on one side, like I was doing a burrito, and left the top open. Beauty school dropout. And then beauty school dropout. Hanging around the wow. kitchen. Check that out, people. Let's bunch it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh. A thing of beauty! That is a little piece of heaven. Mm-hmm. The steak and mm. shrimp Garlic. mixture. I haven't got to the uh, the chipotle yet. I did on the first bite. Woo! Cheese are hot. Look at I think I got half of it. Oh, it's getting hot. Wow. 
Paper towel is a must. Or a napkin. Mm. Oh, that is fantastic, buddy. Mmm. On your next one, are you just going to change it up or are you going to go the same? I don't know. That's a. <laughs> My face is on fire. The Chipotle is kicking in now. Wow. Mmm. Two things that have surprised me that I've never had in a fajita is a Chipotle and then this barbecue sauce thing. A smoked barbecue? Mm hmm And as you guys know, I'm not I'm much of a smoky barbecue kind of guy sauce, but when you just put a little bit on, I love it. That was dynamite. Anything smoked. But it's barbecue sauce, or meat's on the smoker. <sighs> mm. Last bite, people. Mm. All right, guys, we are done. I'd like to thank Paul very much once again for cooking this amazing meal and teaching us how to make flour tortillas. That is fantastic. Like I said, I hope you guys try the recipe. Uh, we'll keep it in the description below. It's time to rate this absolutely fantastic dinner, which you, you obviously you can tell right away what it is. What are you gonna rate it? I'm gonna rate it 11 out of 10. <laughs> nice. Because it was that it, good. It broke the scale. This, and on my scale then, it would be uh, a go out and get now plus. That's the Although, highest, that's the highest ex exceptional rating. Go out and make it now. Go out and make it now, that's right. Um, but as, as the food taste wise, it was a go out and get it now plus. Great mix of ingredients. Obviously the, the icing on the tape cake is the um, homemade flour tortilla. It yes. just adds that extra oomph. Check it out one more time. Um, so what do you think? I think it's a go out again now. Nice. Home, I mean, knock on the door, just okay. ring on and be like, hey, get me a tortilla right now. MP2? He's gone. <laughs> All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken and Paul Cooking Review. Ken and Paul out. Beep.